This video introduces a short series of videos covering demography and economic development. So what is demography? Well, demography uh, is all about the size and composition of a country's population. And over time, uh, demography can have a significant effect on growth and development in both advanced and emerging and developing countries alike. Key point to remember, I think, is that many demographic changes happen incrementally. So population dynamics, that's the change in the size and the age composition of a population, tend to be long term in nature. Here's a great quote from David Bloom writing in the IMF Finance and Development blog in 2020. The world is undergoing a major demographic upheaval with three key components. Population growth, changes in fertility and mortality, and associated changes in population age structure. So which country in the world has the largest population? Well, the answer is China but only just and only for a short while. Yes, 1.4 trillion people living in China. But India catching up very, very quickly. Indeed, the Indian population will soon overtake that of China because of differences in their annual population growth rates. In 2022, by most estimates, the world surpassed the 8 billion mark for the size of the global population. And this infographic from Sister shows it quite nicely. But although the population of the world continues to grow, the growth rate is slowing down. At present, the world population grows by around 82 million people a year. Obviously, that's a lot. So where are the new, where are the new babies being born? Well, this graphic provides some clues. Every four minutes, there are about a thousand births on Earth. And for every thousand babies that enter the world, about 172 are born in India and just over 100 are born in China. So India and China account for 27% of, uh, of all the new babies born in the world. But Africa hosts the most newborns on Earth, 326 for every 1,000. Indeed, virtually all of the nearly 2 billion net additions to the world population that's projected over the next three decades will, ha will happen that will occur in less developed regions. So let's take a look at the two most populous nations on the planet, starting with China. What is happening to population growth in China? Well, the answer is population growth is slowing down and slowing down quite markedly. As this chart shows, the chart takes us from 2000 through to 2021. The Chinese population will soon reach a maximum and then begin to shrink gradually. However, the exact year for the turning point is unclear. Whereas Chinese and IMF estimates see it happening in the second half of the 2020s, United Nations demographers, people who study population, they expect a later date around 2030. But population growth is definitely slowing down. And one of the classic questions about China is this one. Will China get rich before it gets old? I've put the population growth rate chart on the left-hand side there and also put on the right-hand side a chart showing per capita incomes, PPP adjusted, for South Korea in red, China, Vietnam, India and Bangladesh. Now, China has made significant progress, of course, in lifting per capita incomes. It's now a middle-income country where South Korea has made even stronger progress and is now a high-income advanced economy. Will China get rich before it gets old? China has two big structural demographic problems, an ageing population and, in future, a shrinking workforce. The number of births per year in China is shown in this chart, and again you can see the deceleration, particularly since 2016. The Chinese government decided in 2013 to gradually relax the so-called one-child policy, which had been in effect since 1979. From 2016 onwards, parents in China were allowed to have two children in general. Now, according to the recent data there, as you can see, 12 million babies were born in China during 2020. 
But that was an 18% decline on the number recorded in 2019. And as you can see, there was a further fall in 2021. The country's fertility rate now stands at just 1.3. That's 1.3 children per mother, and that's well below the 2.1 threshold necessary for a stable population. <clears throat> this chart allows us to see how the falling birth rate and rising life expectancy is changing the age composition of China's population. Uh, we mentioned there the age composition. Now, there's a key concept called the age dependency ratio. Now, the age dependency ratio is a ratio of dependents. That's people younger than 15 or older than 64. So the ratio of dependents to people of working age, those in ages 16 to 63, 64. Well, here's China's child dependency ratio. That's the ratio of 15 year olds or less. And that's been falling. The old age dependency ratio is now rising. And if you add the two together, you get the total dependency ratio. And as you can see, it's climbing from just under 40 percent. The ratio of 40 percent in 2010, closer to 60 in 2040 by estimates. Well, we spent a little bit of time on China. What is happening to population growth in India? Well, Indian population growth, as this chart shows, is also slowing down, uh, but at a slower, more gradual rate. Indeed, in 2020, it fell below 1% for the first time. So population growth is slowing, but their demographic turning point will arrive later than for China. And Indian population growth is shown here by the age group percentages, and you can see that the percentages of those aged 0 to 14 is now falling. Percentage above 60 is rising, but from a very, very low level. <clears throat> Demography focuses heavily on the age composition of a country's population, and the median age is a good guide to changes in age structure. So which continent has the youngest population as measured by the median age? And the answer is Africa. Take a look at this chart. 40% of people living in Africa are under 15 years old. And indeed, only 3% are over 65 years old. That's a staggering difference, of course. Compare on the right-hand side with Europe, where the only continent where the number of people over 65 is greater than the number of people under 15. And here's Africans, Africa's population distribution by age in 2021. Which countries have the lowest median age? Well, as you will expect, they're in Africa. Niger, under 15. Uganda, 15.7. Angola, just a touch under 16. These are the countries with the lowest median age as of 2022, drawing on data from the United Nations and the World Bank. So why does Africa have the youngest population in the world on average? Well, essentially, it's the result of a combination of factors. High but falling child and infant mortality, a very high fertility rate, number of children born to women of child-rearing age, included in that extremely high levels of adolescent childbearing. So here are the fertility rates for 2020, again with Niger and DRC well ahead of the rest. Very, very high fertility rates. All of these countries have a female fertility rate in excess of five. So there we go, an introduction to some of the pop, uh, some of the economics of demography and development